We have a couple of other special guests in the uh, studio, Cheryl. Move over Animal Planet. We have a few exotic creatures from the wild that we want to show you. Believe it or not, some people actually have them as pets. Vinny Ferriolo and his daughter Faith from uh, Off the Ark Exotic Pets is here. Good morning, Vinny and Faith, along with their scaly and some furry creatures. Nice to see you, Vinny and Faith. Hello. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Um, Faith, what are you holding right here? Oh, this is a caiman lizard. A caiman lizard. Mm -hmm. They're very rare and they're amazing creatures. They are amazing creatures. It's staring down um, the anchor right here and it's uh, <laughs> it's very intimidating. But they make great pets though, don't they? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Um, because they're easy to take care of and they're really comforting. Are they? Mm -hmm. How about you, Vinny? How, what, what made you get into this line of work right here? Always done it. Since I was a kid, I was one of those kids that caught stuff and kept it in the house and your mom yelled at you. Then I went to school for it. <laughs> I'm actually a high school teacher in Chesterfield County at Thomasdale, and I've always done it. And my kids have helped me a little bit, and the hobby blew up into a business about seven or eight years ago. Isn't that fantastic? Now, this, uh, this lizard right here, is this fully grown? No, they get about three and a half feet long. There's some Three and a half feet long? Yes, and the head turns bright red. There's some wonderful YouTube videos online. If you YouTube came in, C-A-I-M-A-N awesome videos. Vinny, it looks very intimidating, but um, you know, it's pretty safe. I would imagine you wouldn't let Faith hold it if it wasn't. Yeah, it's like having dogs or guns. Oh, or yeah, it's like having dogs? Like, yeah, if whatever you have in your house, if it's reasonably dangerous, you've got to learn about it, and they've been educated. They've been holding them all their lives. Now, what are some of the advantages, Vinny, of having uh, some of these exotic pets uh, in your house? Cool factor. Yeah, of course, um, conversation factor. Whenever they have uh, what, occupation night at school, I'm always called. I bet you are. As a high school science teacher, they're invaluable for every unit we study. I can bring something in and show the kids an arachnid or an amphibian or a lizard. Speaking of arachnids, uh, what do we have in this little uh, Tupperware box? This is probably mm. the most common of all pet tarantulas in the U.S. It's called Ew. a Chilean rose hair. Hello. Take away the eight legs and the bizarre body and everybody would, would feel much safer. They're just weird looking. They are. But they're nice, and they make awesome pets. Do they really? They do. They're very little care. She lives in this container. There's a Gatorade lid for water. I throw a couple crickets in there. If I go on vacation, I could take her with me. Well, let's turn the, turn the hand like this, right around here. Maybe tilt it around so we can see it on the camera. OK. How about up here? Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Faith, you didn't, even, you didn't even budge. Does Dad do this to you all the time? Yes. He does. I bet he gets a great laugh out of it, too. The lizard was also crawling up Faith's neck and into her hair as well. Yes, that would happen, and he'll probably <laughs> eat this one, give it a chance. Really? Hmm? But so they, they're awesome pets. Let's keep, them, let's keep them apart. Keep them apart. We don't want PETA calling us here at oh, no, Virginia no this PETA, morning. No PETA. Uh, so let's see right here. Th this doesn't have any, uh, will this bite the tarantula? They have curved fangs. They honestly, they really can't curved bite a flat fang. hand. They'll try. I've had some try and bite me, but they just can't do it. The fangs are too curved. You have to help them out to get them to bite you. And most of them really don't want to bite. They're okay. used to this. In the pet store, they get held every day. All right, put it up. We do all kinds of shows. I was over at Trinity High School yesterday doing a bunch of shows. Ooh. You have to get past the ooh, and then it's not so bad. And they're, they're really well, Let's keep it away unique. from the lizard. Keep the we have a lot of parents come in. From the, lizard. <laughs> the parents come in, they'll buy Whoa. tarantulas for their kids, and then the parents kind of get hooked on them. Do they really? They're easy, and they're fun. You can get hooked. You can get and hooked you can like get anything fanged. else. You can't, it's hard to get fanged. I know. I know. Uh, what, does the, uh, what is the price range on some of these, and uh, what is their uh, life expectancy, Vinny? Well, tarantulas, boys are about five years. Uh -huh. Girls are about 25 years. When a boy hits adult size, he stops eating, and all he wants to do is find a girl. <laughs> kind of like humans, right? Yes. <laughs> I stopped uh, eating a while ago. All right, let's see. We have uh, about a minute left here. What else do we have? We have frogs. I heard that was National Frog Month. It is. And we do have Pac-Man frogs, and they come in all shapes and colors. Oh, you're just grabbing, grabbing the frog. Yeah. Look at these guys. We have albinos. Oh, oh, hey, we have frogs jumping all over the place we here. We have albino Pandemonium. frogs. I got one. These are Pac-Man frogs. They call them Pac-Man because they kind of go waka 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 and eat everything in sight. <laughs> Do they really? And then we have the ones you always see on TV for yeah. the rainforest, the red-eyed tree frogs. These are ones that are always the mascot of the Amazon. Oh, and they're beautiful that. animals. Isn't that cool? And what kind of frog is this? Red-eyed tree frog. Red Every show about Amazon is going to have these guys on it. Really cool pet. How rare are these? They're not that rare. They're not that expensive. And they're not that hard to take care of. How much is that? 
uh, Thirty-five, forty dollars. That's all. And they live in this. This is all. This is their aquarium. This is what they live in. And what do they eat? What do Crickets, these guys eat? little tiny bugs, roly-poly bugs, uh, little worms, any small insect that they can swallow. Is it fun for you, Faith, to have all these creatures all around the house? Uh, yeah, except for when he puts them on my head. <laughs> I bet. Dad just likes to do that. Dads will be dads. Faith, thank you so much. It's nice to see you. Vinny, it's a pleasure. Thanks for the tutorial. Thank you. You want to wrap it? Oh him. my goodness! Uh, you can get him all you want, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Just to keep him away from the lizard. He's the, 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 the lizard He's will fine. eat the tarantula. And yes. The other way around is bad. Okay, not good. All right, folks, thank you very much. Uh, for more information on these exotic pets, you can visit our website at wtvr.com/vtm.